Earlier we were talking about how some of the best leadership lessons that you learn are often from the worst leaders. Well, one of the best drivers for me to succeed at Ranger School came from an anti-Lisa at Ranger School. I don't want to say a doubter. They were very supportive. They love us. They're good friends of ours. But um, they're a little more traditional family. And the comment on social media was, hey, you've done everything you need to for your country. You continue to serve. You do plenty. It's time to be a mom. And the, the statement that really put the ice pick through the heart was if you're not there for your little ones or if you're not there for the little things when your kids are small, they won't come to you with the big things when they grow up. Well, oh shit. Like that was, that was a, a completely froze me in my tracks. And then I thought, right, but what am I teaching them if I have an opportunity and if I have a fire in my belly and I quench it for no good reason other than this sh- short period of time. Because I believed I would take only nine weeks go- to go to ranger school. Because it's a nine-week school. I took six months to do it. But it's a nine-week school. Like, nine weeks to, to be one of the first is okay. And, and I had to go through that in my mind. I'm not only volunteering to go through this where I'm going to lose weight and ruin my feet for months, if not years, I'm going to have to also leave my full-time, not job, career for an extended period of time. I'm leaving my husband to be a single dad. I'm leaving my children. I'm, I'm leaving my competitions. I was competing in CrossFit. I was competing in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I was competing in Olympic lifting. These were all goals that I had set up for myself years before that I had spent years working to. And I'm just going to say, okay, I'm going to do ranger school instead. And that comment was the best comment because it made me think through all the different facets of going to ranger school. So once I got to the school, shaved my head, was living out of two duffel bags, I had already thought through all the reasons I would quit and had already decided that those weren't good reasons to go home. 